Hello my gorgeous makeup loving friends. It has been a very long time since I did a foundation wear test and I figured why not? This is the new Urban Decay Face Bond. It just came out in Ireland in the last maybe two to three weeks etc. So I was like hey I want to give it a go. Today's video is essentially a first impressions. I want to show you the foundation in lots of different lighting outside etc using a phone so you can really get the best idea because if I just did it here with like all of these lights, you're just gonna be like, oh my God, it looks amazing, but let's get the most accurate possible picture of it. So if you wanna see what this looks like and see how it wears throughout the entire day, then this is the video for you. Do please keep on watching. Do not judge me for the weird thing that my hair is doing right now. There's a hairband, which is fundamental to this particular look. Um, okay, I have the new to me Urban Decay Face Bond foundation. I say it's new to me because I mean it only came to Ireland in the last what week or two. I got it in the shade Fair Cool because <laughs> I am fairly cool. So this has lots of kind of claims. It says it's self-setting which is part of what I got so excited about because it reminded me a little bit of the claims of the Dior Forever um, undercover foundation which was one of my absolute favourites but they discontinued that. Thanks for that, Dior. Um, so I kind of figured this could be quite interesting. There's niacinamide in it, which is grand, but of course it takes about three weeks to see full effect of niacinamide if you're using it every day. I do use niacinamide every single day. Let's talk about my skin because that's the whole point. Um, I think right now is actually the perfect time to do this because I have a couple of spots. I have like kind of done a little bit of quick kind of concealer coverage, whatever, brain, no work. Um, I have also increased my retinol, so that means that my skin is a little bit drier than usual. I haven't had Botox since March, so I'm about five to six months without. So it means I have a few more kind of lines here, etc., which kind of makes this the perfect time to really put a foundation through its, I don't know, paces? Yeah, that's, that's the word. Uh, so I'm 34 years old, my skin is kind of a little bit more dry leaning, but I do have a fairly intensive skincare routine to try and keep that in check. As I said, I'm quite like acne prone. I get a couple of spots here and there. And um, yeah, I mean, I did a bit of dermaplaning the other day, so I think we're good. Um, right, I have this here. What I'm gonna do is, I have my little resin plate here. This is how I like to deal with foundation. And I think I'm gonna start off first with maybe just one or two pumps. There we go. Just something small to start off with. The way that I like to do my foundation is I like to take a brush and put it on and then kind of even out the coverage with a sponge. Is it a lot? Yes, but it's the way I like to do it. So I have my foundation brush here. It is the Wayne Goss one and yes, I am ridiculous, but I love it. So I'm gonna tap it onto the brush here. And what I'm gonna do is maybe go with one side of the face. Can I do one half? And you can kind of see what the story is. Obviously, I have like a million lights on right now. So that's gonna make things look a certain way. So keep that in mind. I am not gonna put the foundation too much under the eye because that's what the concealer is for. And I'll do that later because I just, I cannot layer products that much on my skin. It just will not let me. Um, oh, the, can we just talk about the match? Yeah, it's kind of perfect for me, at least, I think, um, because I am. This is, by the way, the palest color. Ridiculous. How is one person that pale? It's ridiculous. I do think I might need more pumps or more, yeah. More foundation, but that, that looks nice. Doesn't seem to be settling in any weird way. I do like this foundation brush, by the way. It's become kind of a fast favorite, which it should want to. It was a ridiculous amount of money and I hate myself for having bought it. <laughs> but there you go, I am what I am. I'm a sick, sick puppy. Oh, okay. Yeah, that is, that is looking decent. I will say, I have a couple of like dry patchy bits here, but honestly, like that's just, again, that's how my skin is right now. I think that once I go over this with a sponge, it's gonna look even better. Now I will say again, I have like a million lights on, so that's gonna make your skin look that little bit better. I mean, it's, it's the law, 
but let's be real we want to see how foundations look in general so i will bring it outside i'm going to like do a full wear test of this kind of give you some info throughout the day as to how this goes i am not oily so i feel like this is probably one of those foundations that's probably going to work a little bit better for people who have oilier skin because of the niacinamide but let's be real niacinamide is for everyone we should all enjoy it like it's a good skincare ingredient in general let's see oh yeah a little bit of settling around the nose etc but it's not bad not bad at all like that whole self-setting thing hmm okay what i'm gonna do now i was gonna take my sponge it's this artitude cosmetics one i really like it and i'm just gonna take some excess foundation and i just find that going in with by the way a damp sponge i'm not ridiculous but going in with that just really helps to kind of blend everything together just get a, a bit more seamless particularly in the bits where there's like dry areas yeah i do feel like just going over it again with the sponge like the the brush gives you the coverage I like, but then the sponge gives me the finish that I like. I don't know if that makes sense. Does anyone else do this or am I just being ridiculous? I probably am being a bit ridiculous, but sure, like, I can do what I like. It's my face. Yeah, there's definitely dry patches around where my nose is. But again, I had had to put down concealer, etc. And... I've started on Medicaid Strength 10 of Retinol. I was on Strength 6, but it is going to dry out my skin a little bit. It just is what it is. Now, I did do my full skincare, but yeah, it's a little bit dry along here. I'll show you. I mean, we're a little bit uncomfortably close, but do you see I have a little bit of dryness around here? Around here. It's nothing major, like... It's not a deal breaker for me, but I like the, the kind of finish of it. It feels very, very comfortable. I do feel like it's not a very full coverage foundation. It's very light to medium, but it is kind of buildable. Now that is my personal preference. I don't like cake face. Even when it was like in, I was never really into it. Again, I think because I have drier skin, as soon as you go more cakey with your foundation, Ooh, like the more full coverage, it just doesn't work, particularly for my skin. In terms of how it's settling into fine lines, because I have, well, I have some under my eyes, but obviously I'm not putting the foundation there, but I have some fine lines on my forehead, thanks to not having Botox in the next while, but I will in the next week. So, hence why I was like, let's do this now, so we get the best impression, or the most accurate impression. Because Botox will always make everything look better. <laughs> I know, I know. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's not settling in any weird way. Yeah, I have the dryness around the nose, but I, I honestly have that with most things. I like this. I'm going to finish off the rest of my makeup, see how it kind of merges with everything else. And uh, yeah, I'll just kind of give you some just initial first impressions. I have returned like that pesky little kidney infection you just can't quite kick. But the problem is you have to remember to take all seven days of that antibiotic. Don't be cutting off that last day just because you're a little bit forgetful. Otherwise I happen. Anyways, the whole face is put together and everything meshed really, really well. I did find as soon as I started to add my sprays, because I've I have a whole bunch of sprays that I use, don't even ask. Um, it really helped sort out kind of the, the issues that I had around dryness, because again, that's kind of what my my skin does. So I'm gonna zoom you in now and we can see what it all looks like together. So I'm gonna kind of do it kind of piece by piece. I have a lot of acne around here, but it's looking pretty good, you know? And I have some scars also along here, don't ask. The dryness around the nose got sorted out pretty quickly. I didn't have any major issue there. And then in terms of the forehead, I mean, enjoy that. It's looking pretty decent. But of course that only gives you one particular impression. I'm going to bring you outside so you can see this and then we'll obviously do a wear test. So I thought that the first thing that I would actually do is to show you what this looks like in indirect sunlight. So I'm near enough to a window but not exactly. 
And obviously I have no light other than natural light on my face. Is that weird? Yeah, probably. Do you like my chin? I have two of them. But let's see, look here, around where the problem area is. It's actually not too bad. Did you enjoy looking up my nose? And I feel like, again, forehead looks pretty good. The shade match. I don't even blend down my neck because I'm too fucking lazy. What the fuck is my fringe doing? Anyways, shade match, really, really good. Um, I'm usually like the fairest in everything, just makes it a little bit easier for me. I'll bring it into actual direct sunlight and I'll probably hiss a little bit, but it'll give you a slightly better indication of what's going on. It's been quite some time since we had a gratuitous cat section, so I figured I'd just pop this in here. This is Sergeant. She is 14 years old and she is a very good girl. Look at those little toe beans. They are precious along the rest of her. Oh, stretch. What do you think of the foundation? No, she doesn't care. So I'm in the direct sunlight right now and uh, I can't handle it. The photosensitivity is just, it's too much. I look so white, don't I? And yet, the match is there, so anyways, I don't know, maybe it's the camera settings. I need to figure these things out. But, let's just look again at these areas. They're looking pretty good. Again, I've just applied it, so it would want to look pretty good. We'll see, obviously, across the day, how it's actually looking, how it's settling. Let's hope it's a good one, because... Uh, so far, I'm actually pretty pretty pleased. It's up there with my Dior, so thank God, because I really needed to find some sort of a replacement. So I've had this on for about three hours now, and I'm inside, I'm using my camera phone in case I can't tell. I mean, again, I always find foundation wears off around my nose. Anybody else? Or is it just me? Oh. I'm gonna say it, I'm a little bit obsessed with this foundation. And it went on like with this lovely light formula. Like it feels like I'm not wearing anything at all, which is so nice. Yeah. I hope this wears well, cause like this is really good so far. I'm about six hours into wearing this now. I've had lunch, I've gone shopping for groceries, nothing interesting and also vitamin D because you know, that's important. But I think it's still looking pretty good. And also, what a good shade match. <laughs> what a good shade match. So good. Uh, in case you're wondering, the highlighter is the Tubby Custard one. I know, it's not. It's from Glisten Cosmetics. Um, Cece's just jumping around. Um, yeah, I mean, it's looking good. A little bit patchy here, but that's, again, that's six hours of wear. That's what you'll see. I mean, I think this looks pretty good. Yeah, okay, okay. We'll give it a couple more hours and we'll check in again. I have had this on for 12 hours now and I'm getting tired. So I think I'm probably gonna take it off now or at least very, very soon. But I feel like this has held up pretty well. Yeah, I'm liking this. Much time has elapsed. You can tell this because A, I look tired and B, ever so slight outfit change in that I just put on a different sort of a roby thing. Anyways, whatever. I've had this on for about 13 hours. Sorry, my hair is doing something weird. I'm not even gonna try and fix it, cause it's life. The important thing is, obviously I've done my updates throughout the day. I used my mobile phone, but now I'm showing you on the camera. I have all of these lights up, but I'm gonna zoom you in and kind of talk through each area. Again, remember this is about 13, 14 hours where something like that and we'll just have a little chat about it. So we are uncomfortably close, I know. Anyways, I have a couple of little dry patches around here. Now these are places where I had kind of little bits of concealer so you can see little bits of pilling but nothing major. Like nothing that I'm like oh my god that's a massive deal breaker. I have a little bit kind of falling apart on my nose. That's very normal. My foundation normally does that. That's like just par for the course around the nose it's actually held together pretty well i'm quite happy with that let's have a little gawk at the forehead it's actually all stayed together 
pretty well. Yeah. Does this hide any sort of dry patches that your skin has? No, but I also don't feel like it shows it off to a startling degree either. Like your skin is your skin. Foundation isn't going to totally rewire it. I said before that I have like a new strength of retinol, so my skin is a little bit drier than it normally would be, but I still feel like it didn't like make it look as awful as it could have been. Like I have my little dry patches, but it's nothing absolutely horrific. It's not settling in fine lines in any sort of way. And can I just say the texture of it? It is so light. It is like, I can't even say it's like a thin texture. It doesn't feel like I have anything on my skin. Like, <laughs> I'm kind of like, ha, huh, what's this about? It's the closest thing that I can actually find in terms of the texture of like the Dior, um, the Forever Undercover, which again, that was my favorite. They discontinued it. So this might actually be a pretty good replacement. And also this is a better, this is a better shade match for me, you know, because <laughs> I had bought one that was like way too dark for me when it came to the Dior because it's hard to get my shade. Anyways, that is not the point. It wore really, really well. It looked great outside in natural light. It meshed really well with the kind of products that I would use on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, I did, however, have a lot of hydration going in. I had my hyaluronic acid, several sprays, peptides, all of these sort of things. I had done like a whole skin mask. Like my skin is very dry. Let me tell you, <laughs> it is very, very dry. Um, if you are very, 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 very dry, this may not be the thing for you. I'm just saying, because it will accentuate a few little pieces. But for me, it kind of worked out okay. If you've got your skincare in check, this might actually be fine for you. For those of you who are oily, you'll love this. You will absolutely. It's so amazing, so lightweight. Um, the problem areas that I would normally have of like foundation breaking down, which would be around my nose, because I am combo in that I'm like dry, but I have a little bit of oil here. The oil did not break down here. So I feel like this is gonna work out really, really well for those who are oily. Anyone who has a like combo skin, I feel like this is gonna work great for. I really, really like this. I can see myself using this quite a bit. I do wish it was like a bigger bottle though. It looks so small, doesn't it? Like it's a dinky little thing. Yeah, I like this. I feel like it wore really, really well. It just looked, I hate the phrase, like your skin, but better, but it did. Like it meshed with everything really, really well. Um, I did use my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Because again, keep in mind the sort of primers that you're using can sometimes impact things. So if you maybe didn't get yours to work for you, maybe try that primer. I don't know. I will try it with other primers. Like the, the other one that I tend to use is the Bobbi Brown one, the vitamin enriched one. So I'll have a little go with that another day and let you guys know. But I do like this. I'm reluctant to give it like a rating because this is after like one day. But I think actually the important thing is, A, would I buy this again? Yes, I feel like I will, just based on this wear alone. B, am I gonna wear this again? Oh, yes. The shade match alone, it's very hard for me. Like, I mean, this has shade matched all the way down to here. Cause normally it's always a, li a little bit too yellowy or a little bit too orange. Like it's very hard for me to get something that's just the right shade. So shade match alone, Hells yes, but I really like the formula as well. So I'm definitely gonna use it again and I can definitely see myself running out and get another one of this once it is used up. But my gorgeous friends, that is it. Let me know what you guys think. Did you purchase this? Are you thinking of getting it? What's the story? For those of you who are in the US, you've had this for way longer than we did, you lucky ducks. I was gonna say schkups, because that's what we say here in Ireland, but you're not gonna get that. So instead, you are a lucky duck. For my gorgeous friends down in Australia, I'm so sorry, you have to wait another couple of months. It's a bit ridiculous, but it does mean that you can annoy me over the next, well, not annoy, you never annoy me, but you can message me over the next couple of months and just say, do you still feel that way about this foundation, Teresa? Do you still think I would like it? Meh, 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 meh. Do that, use me in a consensual way but my gorgeous friends that is it thank you so much for watching do please like comment and subscribe turn on that notification bell just because it's polite and do please share because sharing is caring except of course for stds in which case just wrap it up don't be gross that's it that's the end of the video and i will see you guys in the next one bye